gonna make another video and since Shazam Fury the guys has released released I have decided I'll do a DCEU characters tier list with all the villains and all the heroes. So let's do it. I'm very excited to get into this. So first up we have Aquaman. Now, I really do like Aquaman, I like Jason Momoa's portrayal of the character, I didn't necessarily like the movie, but I do like Jason Momoa as Aquaman though, so, I know, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna put him in B, because I really do love, I really do like him, um, oh man, I don't know his name, um, he is from the Snyder Cut. Actually, since I don't remember his name, just remember makes me remember how not memorable he is. So I'm gonna go in D. Now, Batman. You guys already know that Batman is my favorite superhero of all time, and I really do like Ben Affleck's portrayal of Batman, and I think that he does a great job of making like doing an older Batman. Which I really do like about his version, so I'm gonna put him in S because he is some of the best bits about it. even the bad DCU movies. He's one of the best bits. Now Black Canary, I really do like Black Canary, so I think that she needs to go in. She needs to go in B. So I'll put Jasmine Moore behind her. So, hmm, okay, Black Manta, I'm gonna go and see, because even though that was cool to see Black Manta on screen, he was only really there for like, what, one scene, so I'm gonna go and see, now, Il Ilan McGregor's Black Mask, oh my god, um, I'm gonna put, Black Mask, I'm thinking of putting Black Mask in, hmm, maybe, maybe C, yeah, maybe C, uh, and then we have Al Jazeera's, uh, what sport? Um, I think that there's good characters and actors in the Suicide Squad, even though that I wasn't a big fan of the movie. And I think Idris Elba's Blood Sport is one of those highlights. So I think that I'm going to put him. I'm going to put him in C, but behind Jason Momoa. Now, Captain Boomerang. I love Captain Boomerang. Um, I am going to put... I'm probably going to put him... Probably... Behind Black Canary and in front of Aquaman. Okay, Kristen Wiig's Cheetah. I actually don't mind her as Cheetah. So, I think... I think that she would have to go behind... Il McGregor. In C. Now Cyborg. I think Cyborg is a good character. But I think the problem is, is that he's only really in the Snyder Cut. And the theatrical cut. But. Um. I think I'm going to put Cyborg. In the back of C. Because I think I do think that. Ray Fisher is a great cyborg, but I think the problem is, is that he's really only in one film and that kind of backs it down for me, so. Oh, Dark Side. Now, Dark Side is a great villain. I am going to put him in. Mm. I'm going to put him in A, actually. Oh, God, I've. Mess it up. That there, that there. And then 
I think that's definitely good, right? I think it is Steppenwolf. Um, oh no, it's not Steppenwolf. It's one of the other guys from there. Okay. I think he needs to go on D, because I think they're great villains in the Snyder Cut, but I, it's just that they're not memorable. That's the reason why I'm putting them, most of them in D. So next we have the character from Wonder Woman. Um, she's... She's not really that memorable either, so I'm gonna. I think that actually in front. I gotta swap that for there. Now, Mark Strong as from the first Shazam. Okay, Shazam is my favorite DCU movie. You guys know that. So I am gonna put him in. I'm probably going to put him in B. Uh, I'll probably put him in the top B. Now, Enchantress. I do think that she's a horrible villain, but I think that she's at least memorable. So I'm going to put her above these guys here. Um, now, the chick from Man of Steel. It's been a while since I've seen Man of Steel, but to be honest, I... This chick kind of reminds me of, um, Ursa from, uh, Superman 2. So, I think that she needs to go, I think she needs to go in C, but above Kristen Wiig. So, okay. Oh, God, here we go. The, the guy that's getting arrested at the moment. As familiar as the Flash. Um, I do like his casting. I won't be surprised if it will change after the Flash movie comes out. But at the moment, I am going to put him in. I'm going to put him in B. But I'm going to put him uh, in front of... Boomerang and behind Black Canary because I really do like Black Canary in that movie. Oh man, Free Freeman. Okay. Where am I going to put Freddy? This is really trouble for me, yo. Um, I think. I think that I need to put Freddy in. I might need to put him in A. To be honest, because I really do like Freddy. If you guys, if you guys have seen Shazam: Fear of the Gods, you guys know that Freddy Freeman has more of a role that he does in the first one in that movie. So I'm, I'm going to put him there. Um, oh God, here we go, here we go. We have the Queen. We have Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. She goes in S for me. A Below Batman, but still an S because I love Margot Robbie's portrayal of Harley Quinn. I think that it's the best version we've got of Harley Quinn. Now here we have Huntress. I really do like Huntress too. I think that I need to put her though in front of Azra, but behind Black Canary because I really do like Birds of Prey. Oh, now here we have Joker. Now. I actually really do like Lois Patrol of Joker. Um, looking at the characters that I already have above here, I am going to put him... I'm probably going to put him behind Black Canary is what I'm thinking. Um, uh, actually, you know... I'll give him a bad fan of doubt and I'll put him in A. Uh, behind Free Freeman, of course. So, next we have King Shark. I think that I need to put King Shark. Because I love that Stallone plays him and all of that. I think that he needs to go behind Black Mask. Oh, so here we have Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor. Um, I think that I need to put Jesse Eisenberg's 
Lex Luthor. Um, I don't actually mind him as Lex Luthor, but I think that I need to put him. Seems a little low, but I'm going to put him in C. Now, we have Pedro Pascal from Wonder Woman 1984. I think that I think that Chris and Weiss character is more memorable than Pedro Pascal, so I think I need to put him in the back. Oh wait, no, maybe in front of there because um I think that Ares from Wonder Woman One is the worst DCU villain ever. Um now here we have Mura. Um I think that I need to put her in Man. I'm going to put her in B, um, but behind Idris. Um, I can't, I can't tell who that is, I'm afraid. I'm probably going to, yeah, I don't know. It's probably someone from Michael Man, but I'm going, so next one we're going to go Peacemaker. I really do like John Cena, but I think it's one of his weaker roles. So I'm going to put him in... Uh, actually, I'm going to put him there, um, and then, so here we have Ratcatcher 2, I do like Ratcatcher 2, so I think I'm going to put her, I'm going to put her behind King Shark. Um, now next we have Rick Flag. I think I'm going to put Rick Flag. I do like Rick Flag, so I think that I'm going to put him. Uh, I think I'm going to put him behind Black Canary, but in front of Huntress. Oh, now here we go. The next one we have Shazam! I think that he needs to go in S. I don't... Oh, but should he go over Harley? No, I'll leave him there. I think he's... I think he's good, but I think I prefer Harley more. Um, If we weren't including villains, he would be right behind Batman for me. But the fact that we're including villains, he's gone behind Harley. Um... Why does this list just have random characters, like, especially these ones? Anyway, uh, Steppenwolf is a good villain for the Snyder Cut, um, and even in the theatrical cut. So I'm going to put him behind Leto's Joker. Sorry, I'm yawning. I don't know why I'm yawning. Um, next we have Chris Pine. Um, I'm going to put him, man, I'm going to put him behind Boomerang, but in front of Momoa. Alright, next we have, we have Superman himself, Cavill. I am going to put him right behind Shazam, because I think that what we have for our modern, like, uh, characters, I think that these are the best ones we have. I am going to be skipping a few because I haven't seen Peacemaker, so keep that in mind. We're only doing movies here, because uh, I'm a movie guy more than a TV guy. Um, so... Next we have Thinker, I think that's his name. Um, honestly, kind of, kind of forgettable, but I'm, uh, so I'm going, but I'm going to put him between, oh, actually no, I'll put him in front. So, next we have Weasel, I think that he's a very memorable character, so I am going to put him 
I'm not going behind Huntress, but in front of Ezra Miller's Flash. So, next we have Wonder Woman. Okay. I'm not doing spoilers yet. I haven't recorded that video. Uh, I've just recorded my Shazam Fury of the Gods review. Um, there's something that happens in that movie. Uh, regarding Wonder Woman. I'm not going to say what it is, but... When things pop up in Fear of the Gods, I was very happy to see references to Wonder Woman. So I think that I am going to go, probably going to go in front of Catherine, because I think that she's a bit of a better superhero. Um, next we have Zod. Okay, um, just by watching Man of Steel... For the first time a while ago, and seeing that first shot, he's got to go in front of Leto, but behind Freddie Freeman. I'm super excited for the flash. If you guys don't know, um, actually, I know what I can do with these characters. I don't know what they are. They can go at the back of all these because I don't know who the hell they are. Um, and this guy is not memorable, so I'm going to put him right at the back. I'll put her at the back too, because I think that she's the worst villain we have. Okay, Cassandra came from Birds of Prey. I think, honestly, I think that she needs to go and be, um... But I think I'll put her in the back end. Um, okay, Killer Croc. Now we get into some Suicide Squad villains. Um, I like Killer Croc. I think I'm gonna put him in B. Dead Shot. Now I think that I need to put Dead Shot in A. Uh, but I will put him above General Zod because I do like Will Smith's dead shot. Okay. I am going to put Doomsday there. Next we have Wonder Woman's mother. I am going to put uh, where should I put her? I am going to put her in C, but I'm going to put her there. Um, now, here we have the brother from Suicide Squad. I am going to put him... He does a more of a, he does more, uh, evil, like, tries to throw in the Suicide Squad more than Enchantress, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put him at the front of D. Oh, now we have Russell Crowe Zod, um, I mean, not Zod. Rick. Not Carl. Carl. Um. I forgot the name of Superman's like Krypton parents. Um. I can't remember. But I'm gonna put him in C, but above Ratcatcher. Um. Oh God, this is kind of a funny one. Next up, we have Josh Whedon. Um, okay, so he's a true villain. Um, as you guys know, he came out with, um, the, uh, theatrical card Justice League. I am going to put him in the front of D, because he is one of the best villains we've ever gotten. Um, so... Oh, Katana. Okay. Where am I going to put Katana? 
I am going to put her in C, but she's more memorable, so I'm going to put her in front of me on the go, because I really like her character. I don't remember that dude, so he goes there. Sorry, I might be cheating, but I legit don't remember some of these characters. I think it's really, really bizarre. Um, Lewis Lane. Okay. Lewis, I think... Okay, I like Amy Adams as Lewis Lane, so I think that she needs to go and be... Uh, I might put her... Maybe in front of Rick Flag, actually. Okay, so now we're getting to some duplicates with like Aquaman and that other guy. Um, I'll I'll skip those. Um, now we have Amanda Waller. I think that Amanda Waller should go should go behind Steppenwolf. Uh, because again, a great character played fantastically by Viola Davis, but I think that. I like things more, I'm more of a, like a Joker guy, a Zog guy, a Deadshot guy, a Freddy Freeman guy myself. Now next we have Mel Montoya from Birds of Prey. I think that she needs to go, she is very funny in that movie, but I think that I need to go and see, uh, in front of King Shark. There we go. Now next we have Joe Manganiello's Deathstroke. Oh man. Since we've only seen a snippet of him, I am going to go and see behind Cyborg. Because I think Cyborg gives more of a performance in those two movies. More than um, Deathstroke does. Now, now we have the old guy from Shazam, or the wizard. Um, oh, man. I've seen Fury of the Gods. I really like that character. So, I think I might need to... I might need to put him behind... Uh, in front of Mark Strong uh, in B. Because I really do love that universe of Shazam. Um, I need to... Man, um, all right. I think I need to put. I think that Zard. No, I can't remember his name, but the dude from Birds of Prey. Um, I might put him in C, but I I'll put him. There, behind Cyborg going for Andrew Manganiello. Um, I haven't seen Peacemaker, so I'll skip the Peacemaker characters. We're going right to Shazam. Um, and Black Adam. So. Um. Okay. So now we have the Shazam family. Oh, Shazam family. Um. So, I think I need to put Mary in A, because I think that she's a really, really great character. Um, but that is the first Shazam one. Um, I think that I prefer more than Amanda Waller, more than Super Wolf, more than Jacob, more than Zod. I don't think I like her more than Deadshot, though. Honestly, I think all the Shazam family get different spots in A, if I'm being honest. Because I think that they're a great addition to Shazam. Um, the ones that have random characters on them, I'm not going to... Uh, but Dala definitely goes above Mary, because I think that she is the heart of the group in those movies. So she definitely goes in front of Mary. Um...
then I think that's Eugene. So I think Eugene should go. I'll put him there. And I'll put him... Because I just saw Fury of the Gods last night, so I think I have a general idea of where I want to put these... Well, I want to put these guys. I won't worry about these ones, but I'll do Black Adam. Um, Alright, the man in black. I do like the Shazam world, so I think that I need to put him in A. Because, of course, he's played by The Rock. Um, I don't like him more than Freddy, so I'm going to leave him there. Um... I am going to put Adam Smasher in C, but I'm going to put him in front of Cyborg. I'm going to put Dr. Fate in B because I actually did, oh uh, wait, should I put him in B? Yeah, actually, you know what? I'll put him in B. Um, there, and then I'll put um, Hawkman um, in B in front of Boomerang. Oh, wait, no, behind Boomerang. Uh, and then I'll put her in Ooh. Alright, I think that's all, guys. We did a pretty good job with that. So guys, if you guys like this tier list, please hit the like button down below if you haven't already. Hit subscribe also at the little bell. Can I get enough of our future videos that I make and I might do them on our tier list in the future. And I'll see you guys next later. Take care. Bye. Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon.